I'm a juggler, not a magician. Juggling, of course, is like magic, but without, you know, the girlfriend and all that other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought I'd begin uh, my portion of the show tonight with something I've never attempted on stage before, something brand new. Been practicing it all night in my dressing room there. And uh, very iffy, but, you know, the upside is quite high, so I'm just going to give it my best shot. Something brand new using an ordinary highlighter pen like you have in your own homes or offices, and uh, see how it goes. David Svengalis, ladies and gentlemen. Why is that funny? Is like it went around the world or something? Yeah. Exactly. I have to say that getting married was the best decision I ever made. I'll never forget putting on that wedding ring for the very first time and thinking, I am someone else's problem now. <laughs> I'll begin by kicking this genuine billiard ball into the air and then catch it nestled in my right eye socket. Oh. That old chestnut. <laughs> All right, for my cultural contribution this evening, I'm going to share with you folks the ancient Aztec art of face juggling. <laughs> Thank you. All this talent, and I'm also a notary. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about me, I encourage you to visit my website, daviddebel.com. If you'd like to learn how I came up with my act, you can visit my mom's new site, nevershakeababy.org. Never wonder why people never try to impress family and friends by juggling plastic grocery bags? Here's why that is. All right, to conclude my portion of the show, I'm going to juggle all three grocery bags using only one hand <laughs> at a time. Now, this won't last long. Now, I know this looks stupid, but when you get home, it's going to be the first thing you're going to try. <laughs> I call this first trick, trick number one. <laughs> I'll toss the two objects high. Grab the fork in the blink of an eye, and before it's too late, the apple's true fate will be death on a fork, oh my. Oh. Now when I first saw that trick, I, like many of you, was unimpressed. <laughs> so I devised a more difficult variation. I should warn you folks, I have no butt. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the apple will rest on my crown till I cause it to fall toward the ground. With fork in hand, I'll pierce what I can, and with luck, I'll pierce something round. No lies. No lies. It's even more impressive when you realize I pierced the apple in the same four holes both times. Sir, could you just verify for everyone that I only pierced it once despite... That's close enough. <laughs> uh, 
right, I'm going to try it one more time, but this time it's going to be a lot more exciting. <laughs> okay, I think we're fine. Jay. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. <laughs> I'm going to perform it one more time. This time it'll be a lot more exciting because I'll be replacing the apple with a boneless honeydew melon. <laughs> if you guys had any idea of how funny I've been up here tonight. Uh, <laughs> now you know what you're thinking. How am I going to pierce the extremely thick exocarp of the melon? <laughs> I'll be replacing the fork with a stainless steel Canadian garden hoe of death. <laughs> to make it even more dangerous, I'll perform this without the aid of the special safety decal. <laughs> now, if what you've seen me do thus far hasn't exactly been your cup of tea, I can assure you that what I'm going to do right now isn't even a beverage. <laughs> Just as before, the fruit will roll the length of my spine, which, when straight, is over a mile. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a trooper. Oh. All right, I'm only going to attempt this one once for obvious safety reasons. <laughs> if I succeed, I expect you folks to go buck wild and give me a standing ovation. <laughs> if I fail, I'll donate $1,000 to my least favorite charity, <laughs> Lawyers Without Borders. <laughs> In the spirit of progress, Going Buck Wild, that's okay. Thank you very much.